Hey Virgo, it's either Patsy, and I'm doing your general love and Valentine's reading, uh, Valentine's Day reading for February 2019. So for those of you who um, knew that I had had a death in the family at the beginning of February, and I ended up uh, having to go out of town. Um, thank you for your condolences for my mother and uh, for our family. My uncle passed away, my mother's older brother. And then after we got back, I developed uh, laryngitis for a week. So I just started getting back on Monday doing these videos. So thank you for your patience. And I'm just getting cards from the Romance Angels for you at the bottom of the deck is retreat. And for your partner, I'm going to get five cards from the Whispers of Love deck. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay. Mm hmm All right, one. Oh, thank you very much. And just one more, please. Okay, so for you, Virgo. From the Romance Angel. First card that came for you is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Wow, okay, the second card here for you is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, someone that you are reconciling with that is your soulmate. Next card, finances and career. Finances are a factor in your love life right now. So, right, because this could be someone you work with. Very nice. The next card that came is, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. And the last card for you, Virgo, is you deserve love. So, reconciling with a soulmate, someone from the past that you used to work with or that you work with, or that is in some way uh, involved with your finances or your job. Okay, so it could be a co-worker, could be a client, could be the teller at the bank or the bank manager, um, or your accountant. All right, so, nope, that's too much. Let's just get one. But it's safe you to love this time, and because you deserve love and you are lovable. Very nice. So what is this? Just keep trying to give me seven cards. Nah. -uh. All right. So for your partner, the card that came up for them is consider your foundation. And that fell on top of reconciliation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Oh, so yeah. This is part of the reconciliation. Coming back to the foundation, place that they want, the place that makes them feel home, like home. Okay, and something that is real. If they really want love, I think this is what they're saying. If they're really interested in love, then this is where they need to focus their, they need to, re, to consider how they're focusing their energies. Okay. Oh! And the bottom of the deck, back to what you love. Okay, Libra just got this also. Their partner got this also. Back to what you love. Hmm. So, reconciliation, back to what you love. Okay. And bottom of your card was retreat. Uh, your deck was retreat, right? So, yeah. Spend some time with the person that you love or that you're reconciling with, or that you're considering reconciling with. The next card for them was turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love, and that fell on top of your card, soulmate. Oh, yeah. This is a very comfortable, familiar, familiar relationship for you both. You love. 
embrace this new opportunity of love that's here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth, and that fell on top of finances and career. Now, come on. <laughs> this card is talking about a new love that is connected to your finances and career. And there is the card finances and career. So that's number 26. So that's eight. Hmm. So this is going to be some maybe abundance that's going to last a long time. It's going to be infinite. Hmm. Maybe you'll be able to build some kind of a next egg. Of, um, so you're going to be comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable and you're going to have spiritual growth. So if it's not financial abundance, it's going to be a spiritual, uh, spiritual experience. Returning to this relationship for your partner, at least. Next, love is all around you. And that fell on top of your card that says it's safe for you to love. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. So, this familiar reconciliation with this past love, this soulmate, is going to help you get back to the basics. Or it's going to help your partner get back to basics, get back to their foundation. They're going to get back in touch with their feelings and emotions. And remember, a time in their life before when they felt loved. Hmm. And their last card for them is appreciate this moment. And that fell on top of you deserve love. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So given a second chance to have the love that you both deserve. And this is number 33. So that's about communicating. Okay, making sure that you all talk to one another, all right, express your feelings, all right, and know that you're safe to love this person. I keep looking down. I want to make sure I have my microphone plugged in. You don't know how famous I am for that, those of you who are familiar with <laughs> my channel. And thanks, um, welcome any new viewers. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share them. From the, sex, the Tower of Sexual Magic, first card here for you as a couple is the Eight of Chalices. Yeah. So this goes on top of reconciliation and considering your foundation. So someone had walked away from this relationship before. Even though they were very loving towards one another, someone didn't feel safe or there were other things that were calling them away. And so this is a rekindling of this relationship. Did we get the bottom of the deck here? Yeah, back to what you love. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I'm losing it, folks. <laughs> Getting old. Can't remember things two minutes after one another, but it's okay. Let's see, let me get uh, three more cards for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Mm. Thank you. Regards to their relationship. Ooh. Temperance. Balance. This falls on top of turning on your heart light, and this is your soulmate. So, things are going to get back to where it's supposed to be. Gonna, this relationship is bringing, is re, refocusing you, rebalancing you. Both of you, someone could be a fire sign huh? or a water sign, could be a Sagittarius or Virgo. Well, this is your Virgo. <laughs> mm. Oof. Mm. Three of Swords. So this could be talking about some envy, could be a third party relationship, but this fell in the reverse. So, that's over, and that fell on top of finances and careers. So, if there was a third-party relationship that was going on at your place of business, it's over. That isn't happening. 
it's no longer a third party relationship. <clears throat> okay. And the Hierophant, number five. So this is about change. This is about institutions, commitments, contracts, uh, companies, large corporations, companies, entities. Hierophant. So this falls on top. It's safe for you to love, and love is all around you. So this could be talking about taking this to a, a deeper level level of commitment for pentacles. Stability. Being comfortable. Feeling safe. And this falls on top of appreciate this morning moment and you deserve love. So yeah. This is a, going to be a change for you and your partner. This is no longer or this is not a third party relationship. There's not going to be a lot of overworking. So maybe somebody's a, a workaholic. That none of that is happening. That came through for some reason. Um, it's going to be balanced. A balanced reconciliation where both of you are going to feel that it is safe for you to love one another because you deserve it. And you're being told, your partner's being told to appreciate this moment. And this is creating a stable relationship for you both. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles. Yeah. So somebody wasn't sure about whether or not to go ahead with this. They weren't sure whether or not they wanted to touch this again. All right. So this kind of snuck up on you guys. This was not intended. Someone was uh, tentative about going forth, but it's safe you'd love. It's safe you to continue pursuing this relationship. Because you deserve it. Okay, from the Archangel Power Tarot, we have <clears throat> the Seven of Michael. All right, so this talks about paying attention to the details. It may be a better course of action for you. It's, okay, it talks about not working alone, getting a partner, not, oh, that's what that is. Okay. Looking at the details and working with a partner, talking, communication, communicating. Oh, three of Michael release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds and that falls on top of soulmate and turn on your love life. So, this is about forgiving things that may have happened in the past, communicating, all right, going over the details. So you might have to talk about this first, and it may build up, bring up some hurts from the past, but they want you to just deal with it and then release it because time will heal all these wounds. That's the balance. Okay. So talking, forgiving, communicating, knowing that it's easier to do it when you have a partner, when you have the right partner. Ah, reconciling with the right partner. All right. Okay. So maybe you've been trying to handle a situation by yourself and you are being told that you can share that those concerns or that burden with your partner, with this other person that you're reconciling with. Oh, yeah. because they're Queen of Raphael, <laughs> Queen of Water, Queen of Cups. Follow your heart. This is a kind, loving, intuitive, giving person, Virgo, that you are involved with. Male or female. And it says, follow your heart. It's a trustworthy person, very intuitive, and they may have uh, psychic or intuitive messages to share with you. Or maybe you've been getting a lot of uh, 
who intuitive messages, dreams, synchronicities that are indicating and pointing out that this is the way that you should be going. Number five, divine guidance. Ashe, and that falls on top of number five, the Hierophant, it's the same card. Archangel Sandophon, searching for the meaning in life, approaching it differently, and surrounding yourself with wise teachers or friends. Yes, you don't have to do this by yourself. It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to go forward in this relationship. All right. There's wise counsel available for you. There's divine guidance for you. Right. You are trying to take your personally, your personal life outside of this relationship or whatever this is. You want to build your spirit, your spiritual life. You want to follow your spiritual path. And they're being told, you're being told that this is, wow, here's another five. Five of Michael. This situation, okay. Don't, all right, release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So have a way you, you have been doing it or were doing it. They're being told that you need to Give it over to God, right? Let go of the outcome. Give it to God. Prayer. Consider taking a more uplifting approach to me is prayer. Meditating. Don't think about what can go wrong. Think about what can go right. Because you deserve love. And you need to be able to appreciate this moment. Enjoy the all the events leading up to this. Oh, bottom of the deck, Ace of Ariel. New beginning opportunities for new beginning, new beginnings and abundance for you, Virgo. In the month of February through the end of March or whenever I get to doing more readings for you guys. So that is absolutely marvelous. This is a good reading. Very good, Virgo. We've got somebody that loves you. That you can work with, but you have to be willing to work with them. You have to be willing to let somebody else help you. Okay? You don't have to take it all on by yourself. I know that it's easy to do that because then you don't have to worry about nobody messing it up, right? That's part of it because you're very meticulous, a little OCD sometimes, but I'm saying this person is safe. This person, and they know you. And they know what you would expect. And I think if you communicate and let them know that they can keep lines of communication open, you'll be able to accomplish a great new abundant beginning. Wonderful. Very good. So it's going to be a good February for you guys so far. Okay, let's see if we can get for numerology. I'm going to get you oracle card from the numerology see if we can get some further assistance and guidance for virgo and their partner okay here we go anything that's too much it's too much no well i got 66 here for you so this is healing this relationship Mm. Forgiveness, pride, number 19, but that was turned upside down, so let go of your pride issues. Number 57, teaching and learning. So this relationship is ah, number 93, happy ending can't make this up so this is a relationship that you are going to be learning some really good lessons from it's going to be healing all right you are going to be able to forgive one another and let go of pride in the sense of not being controlling and not being too proud to 
express your love to your partner, right? And to be receptive to accepting the love. It's not going to be perfect all the time, but got somebody that's willing to work with you. So take them up on that offer. All right. So thank you very much, Virgo. I appreciate everything you guys have, you know, the views, the shares, the likes, the comments, you guys really, well, everybody, the, this is a wonderful experience. And I just thank God that I have you guys because I learned so much doing this and uh, I look forward to it. It makes things a lot easier, believe me. <laughs> All right, so I'll talk to you guys real soon. All right, and uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new material. <coughs> See? <coughs> or go live. So, talk to you soon. Namaste. Peace.